I am excited to try these. Look at these. Ooh, perfect. Mmm. Good morning, everybody. It's Red Friday. Remember, everyone deployed. We have been out of town for a week. We went racing out at the Bonneville Salt Flats for Speed Week 2019. And we've been gone for five days, so let's take a look at how the garden is doing. So this is some stuff that I just didn't have room for anywhere, so I just kind of threw everything in these with some drippers on it. Uh, I think these are some beans. Uh, there's a little zucchini grown here in like a one quart pail. Um, nothing really special about it, but it's growing fruit on it. Uh, these are some beets and some flowers in there. These are our elderberries that I haven't found a place where I want to put them yet. So here is the bags of chopped straw. They're actually doing pretty good. I ate a bunch of radishes already out of here. Um, we got beets growing, carrots. Uh, they aren't holding their shape very well. That's the only thing I don't like about the bags of chopped straw versus bales of straw is that they don't hold their shape that great. Here are the onions. They have been doing amazing, the best we've ever had with onions. So bulbs are big. We're going to be getting ready to harvest these pretty soon here. A couple of them we folded the stems over so they can start to uh, harden off and get ready for harvest but the onions have just done amazing this one's ready to go we've never had onions this big before until we found these from the nursery here in town Zucchini is doing amazing. It always does. Always plant way too many zucchini. You see something kind of started eating the end of this one, but this one was going to be my uh, zucchini to save seed from. So that one I don't really care about because I'm just going to cut it open and save all the seeds for next year. But you can see all of these are just loaded. That was five days. And just the growth is amazing now that they're getting a little nutrients. A little different variety here. Peppers are doing great. They're just getting loaded with peppers. I think this is a uh, New Mexico hatch style. This is a uh, cow horn pepper. We use these for salsa, but it's just loaded with peppers. This one is a uh, Anaheim. They're starting to get big. These are the Christmas melons or Santa Claus melons. I'm excited to try these. These were the first melon uh, that I got in a CSA box last year that I'm not allergic to. I'm usually allergic to cantaloupe, honeydew, etc. But uh, those Christmas melons I'm not allergic to, and so I decided to grow some of those. These cucumbers are taken off. They're just going crazy. I was able to harvest a bunch of these. These are the lemon cucumbers. And the plant is just loaded. Tomatoes are all doing well. This is the early girl bush tomato. See lots of tomatoes just waiting for them to ripen up. I believe this one here is a Roma. And you can see lots and lots of tomatoes. And lots of salsa and pasta sauce. This is our other early girl, and we 
have some that we can pick, finally. Fresh salsa. This is a big beef. And this is the backside of that early girl. As you can see, everything's finally doing good. This is the garden I'm used to having. Uh, I don't know what was going on at the beginning of the year, but that uh, mitt lighter weekly feed recipe really kicked everything off and made it take off. So um, I did that once, uh, waited two weeks, and then applied again. And I might not need to apply the rest of the season. Everything's doing really well now, so uh, we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it does. So thank you guys for joining in and watching. And if you like this, subscribe, and hope you guys have a great weekend.